Hey, digital makers, Christina here from the Raspberry Pi Foundation team. I am excited to code with you all this week. We are going to be doing the push button stop motion project. So grab your Raspberry Pis, your buttons, your cameras, and let's create a cool animation. Let's go. All right, so I'm at projects.raspberrypi.org. This is our library of over 200 projects where you can explore different um, different projects to be creative with coding. So let's jump in and actually look at these. So you can sort projects by topic, hardware, software level. I encourage you to check these out. I'm going to jump right into the project that we're going to be working on. So this week's theme is capture life. So it's all about cameras. So I'm going to show you the photography projects we have, and we are going to be doing, uh, walking through the push button stop motion project, this one right here. And also, if it's easier for you, you can use a short link, rpf.io slash dm hyphen motion. And that'll take you to this project. So let's head over. Now, if you're new, I'll walk you through real quick what projects, the organization of projects. First and foremost, we always have a preview. So in this case, our preview is a stop motion um, animation video with oranges. Pretty cool. We're going to learn how to make something. Um, not exactly this video. I don't actually know if I have any oranges. I'll check. But we're going to learn how to use the camera to make this type of video. Then you'll see the projects. Um, it gives you a what language we're going to be using. We're going to be using electronic components. We're going to be using Python. We're also, you can in the top right, you can change the language of the project. So if you are more comfortable with a different language, please change the language so that this project works for you. Here on the left is kind of our table of contents. What are the steps we're gonna be walking through? So our first step will be to connect the camera and then we'll move through these together. Um, going back though to the introduction, there's some really um, helpful information here. What we're going to learn, um, oops, there we go. We are going to be learning about the camera module, uh, using the Python Pi camera library, connecting a button, controlling a button um, with GPIO pins and GPIO zero, and then how to generate a video from the photos that we're going to capture with the camera. Then what we're gonna need, and this is important, so if you need to pause the video and go grab these, totally fine. Make sure you've got everything you need. Raspberry Pi, I'm gonna be using a Raspberry Pi 4, um, Raspberry Pi camera then a breadboard, two male to female jumper leads, and then a button. And then for software, make sure you follow these directions here um, so that you've got um, these installed on um, your Raspberry Pi. So you'll need to open up the ter terminal and type these in, okay? Now, as always, if you have any questions, definitely check out, you can either send us a message, like send us feedback, or you can comment in the blog post and we can answer any questions you have about the project. So make sure that you have your hardware and your software ready, and then we're gonna um, do the project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift now to my Raspberry Pi. So my setup, which you can't really see, is I'm gonna have the Raspberry Pi set up, and then I'm gonna have the project, oh, the lights, we're okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have the Raspberry Pi um, on one screen with my monitor, and then I'm gonna have my computer with these project directions. So I recommend doing that, um, or you can just follow along with the video. So let's head to our Raspberry Pis. All right, so let's get started with our hardware. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put all of our hardware together, so both the camera, which is step two, and connect the button, which is step five of the project. So let's start with the camera, which we have here. See, we've got our camera, we've got a Raspberry Pi, our jumper wires, breadboard, and our button. So with the camera, we are going to take the camera in here at the end of the ribbon. You'll see there's a blue piece. Our camera port, I'm going to lift this up so you can see it, is right here on the Raspberry Pi. So what I need to do is I need to pop this piece up so it's open. I'm going to take the blue end and I want that to be facing, um, in this case it's facing like the audio um, jack which is there and then like the USBs. So we want to put in our camera and then close it. So it's secure, awesome. Now let's go ahead and connect our buttons. So I've already put my button into the breadboard. Uh, make sure you're gentle, I've broken many a button doing that. So I've got my button in here and I'm gonna connect the wires to the GPIO pins. And 
For GPIO, just quick overview, GPIO is general purpose input output. So what we're doing right now is we are going to, I mean, this is what's really neat about the Raspberry Pi is you can use these pins to connect to um, so many different devices from the Raspberry Pi sense hat to motors. This case, we're gonna connect it using these wires to the bedboard to our button. So that our button is connected and controlling the camera, which is really cool. So I'm gonna connect my first wire to ground and then making sure it's connected in the same row as my button. This may look a little bit different um, on your Pi. Totally fine. This definitely looks different than the diagram because my button's just a different shape and that's okay. Just making sure, oops, excuse me, making sure you're making a complete circuit. And I'm gonna take my second wire. I'm gonna put it in GPIO 17. And I'm gonna connect it on the next point here. That's where it is. So there we go. All right, so we have our hardware all connected, which is great. And as you saw, or you may have noticed, I don't have anything else connected. I don't have the power on, because um, I want to take care of my Pi, make sure it's, um, the, don't want to have the power on when we're doing this. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to connect my HDMI. Now I have a Raspberry Pi 4, so this may look a little bit different on yours. Um, and I'm going to connect, got a little wire ta wire, wires tangled. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect this is gonna connect my keyboard and my mouse. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my power and we can get started. All right. So I'm going to switch over to my desktop on the Raspberry Pi. As you see, it's all right, it's turning on. We are ready to go. All right, so I am on my Raspberry Pi, and the first thing we wanna do is we wanna test and make sure that our camera is working. So to do that, we're gonna open up the terminal, and let me go ahead, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. When I got to the terminal, it was up here, it was already pinned at the top, but you can go to the Applications menu and go to Accessories, and that'll have your terminal right there. So I'm gonna type in RIS, PI, short Raspberry Pi still, so for a still image, and um, negative K. And basically that's gonna give us a preview. So you can't see it um, in the video, but right now my camera, I'm seeing a preview of my photo. So you should be seeing a preview on your Raspberry Pi of your face, wherever, wherever your camera is pointing, right? So then to get out of that, I'm gonna use Control C. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo just to make sure this works. Um, and make sure that you can see, great. So we're gonna type this in and I'm gonna name my photo F-U-N-J-P-G, oops, there we go. Okay, so now I've actually got five seconds and this is gonna take a photo of me. Three, two, one. Okay, so I should have a photo. I can check that by putting in LS. Great, now I see, actually, I see my photo right there. And then let's go ahead, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna open it up in our file manager. Oh, there it is. Great, so we've got our camp, my camera is showing me, it's giving me a preview, it's working, it's taking photos. So that's awesome to see. So we just controlled our camera with the terminal. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna control our camera with Python. So let's go ahead and start programming in Python. What we're gonna to need to do is we need to open up, um, you can either open up Python 3 Idle, um, which is an integrated development environment, that's what IDE stands for, or Thani, which is another, um, like ID, another integrated development environment. And I'm, you can use either one of those. I'm gonna be using Thani, I'm a big fan of Thani. And it's also a little bit easier for me to like zoom in and make sure that you can see everything that I'm coding. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Thani, and I'm gonna zoom in so this is really big for you all to see. There we go, okay. And start putting in some code. So, give me a second while I make sure to open it up. All right, so first line of code we're gonna put in, and we wanna be very conscious of capitalization, that's really important. So first thing we're gonna do is put in from Pi camera, that's all lowercase, import capital P-I-C-A-M 
ERA. So with capital P and a capital C, that's super important. Because um, what we're doing is we're importing the Pi Camera modules. Um, and then we're going to create objects in our code that we're going to use to control the buttons in the cameras. So in this case, we're um, importing the Pi Camera library. And then we're also going to import oh, oops, from um, time. We're going to import the timeline. We're going to import sleep. So now we're going to make our object, which we're going to call camera, because it makes sense to call it camera. You can actually call it anything you want. I'm going to call it camera for the sake of um, keeping it simple. And all right. So that's the code I have so far. Remember, at any point, feel free to pause. This code is also on, I believe it's, we're now on step four, um, where we're taking a picture with Python. So you can always see this code um, there as well. Now, we're gonna go ahead and set up our camera with this next line of code. So line five, camera dot start underscore preview parentheses, oops. So this is the camera's gonna show us a preview. We're telling the camera to show us a preview. Then we're telling it to sleep for three seconds. So we're saying, hey camera, show me a preview, but give me three seconds so I can look cute. And then we're gonna have it take a picture. And we're gonna tell the computer where we want that picture to go. So we're saying camera, I want you to capture an image. So it's line seven, camera um, dot capture. And then we're going to put we're telling the computer where we want that image to go. So here, in this case, I'm going to put it um, on the desktop. Home, Pi, capital D for desktop, image.jpg, and parentheses, and then one more line to stop the preview. Let's go ahead, we're gonna save this. And I'm gonna go ahead and name it um, animation.py. You see I've got some other ones in there. <laughs> okay, all right. We've gotta save it before anything's gonna work. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Remember, you can pause this video at any time if you still need some time to type your code, totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and run um, my program and see if it works. So I can either click on run or I can click F5. Oh no, I've got an error. What did I do? <gasps> okay, can anyone see what I did? Okay, this is why I like Thonny because it gives me the, lets me know what mistake I made. I reminded you all to use caps, but here it says my Pi camera is not defined. That's because here in line four, I didn't capitalize the C in Pi camera. So now I'm gonna capitalize it, save, now let's run. Okay, great. So what you don't see, but I see a preview. <laughs> the preview um, waited three seconds, it took a photo. Let's see how silly that photo looks. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. You see it showed up right here in the top left corner on my desktop. Let's open it up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so my photo is working, my code is working. This is awesome. So feel free, play around with this, pause the video, play around with the camera. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next step. Now something you'll notice um, in the project, if, you, if your um, image is upside down, which totally fine, what you can do is you can type, I don't need to do it, but I'll go ahead and show you. Um, what you can do is you can type in a line of code um, right under line four. You can add in um, camera dot rotation equals 180. And this will flip over your image. So if your camera is taking photos and it's upside down, totally fine. You can add in this line of code. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out though because I don't need that because mine is right side up. Okay. Let's move on um, to the next piece. We're gonna actually um, connect um, the hardware or connect the button to our code. So we've already set up our button, right? We did that earlier. Um, if you didn't make sure to do that now, that's, this, is, this step is connecting the hardware button. So we've set it up. Now we're going to import button from GPIO, from the GPIO zero module. 
So we're going to add that up here at the top uh, for line three from GPIO zero import. Remember, capitalization is important here. Import capital B button. And then we're going to name our button, button. Remember, you can name it anything you want. We're going to name it button for simplicity. And if you remember, I'm going to put in 17. I'm going to give you a second to think about why I'm using the number 17. A couple seconds. Okay. Maybe you might remember, but we're using 17 because that was the GPIO pin that we connected our button to. Remember, we connected our uh, wires to ground and we connected it to GPIO 7. So we have a complete circuit and we're using GPIO 7. That's where we are sending information to, to connect to the button, to connect to our camera. So 17 is our number. All right, now the next thing we are going to do is we need to add in a little bit more code that tells our computer that we are going to be using the button. So go ahead and lower this. We don't need that right now. And add in this next line. So right under, for me it's line nine, which is the camera start preview. I'm gonna add another line of code and this is going to tell the computer to wait for the button. So button dot wait underscore for press. And um, then we're going to keep it all the same. We can actually take out sleep because we don't need this anymore. Like we're going to continue to see the preview um, for, uh, the, for the photo until we press the button. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo. But I'm going to switch it so you can see my button. So give me a second while I do that. OK, switch cameras so you can see my Raspberry Pi, my Raspberry Pi, my button, what we set up earlier. And I've actually taken the camera and attached it um, to a candle that I have using a hairband. So it keeps it um, secure. And that way, there's it's not shaking or anything. So. Let's go ahead and run our code. Something you may have noticed um, if you've been playing with the images is if you want to save or have different images, you need to change the name because what it'll do is it'll override each previous image if you use the same um, here in line 11 for me. So I'll just keep that other image I had before and I'm gonna change this to image one. So it'll give me a new image. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna save that and run. So I have a preview showing up on my code and um, so I'm going to back this up a little bit and you can't see it just yet but now it's going to should take a photo when I press this button all right so great right we see that we have a new image just popped up with the name image one because that's the name that I gave it we can open it up up ah, there's my happy face <laughs> so we have our button is connected to our camera now, if you are having any issues, make sure to check your code, um, check capitalization, check, um, just check, make sure the code is the same. Then check your, that your wires are all the way in, check that your button's all the way in. And if you're having any issues, don't hesitate, please um, post um, for the blog for the week. Definitely you can put a comment in there or send us a uh, message at um, rpf.io slash home. We want to make sure that you're able to do this project. So send us a message uh, if you have any questions. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move um, to take, well, take a selfie. So what you can do is right now we have it where when you click the button, it just automatically takes a photo. So if you want to have a little bit more time, you want to like have a delay, you can add in some code. So we can add in the code um, under button, uh, wait for press. You can have it, the button be clicked and then you can tell the computer, okay, I'm going to click this button, but then I want three seconds to, to get ready for my photo. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to change this so I can save. Um, this image as well. Okay. Now make sure it's saved. Okay, I'm gonna run and it's gonna give me a couple seconds. So I'm gonna try and set this up so it's a little bit better. Okay. 
All right, the pause was me getting ready for my selfie and we've got our image. So let's go ahead and check that one out. Oh, it was image two. Ah, oh, there it is, excellent. So if you wanna pause the video, play around with the button, play around with the images. Um, I'm gonna move on to the next step for the stop motion animation, which I'm really excited about. Now that we've been taking individual photos, we're gonna learn how to take them um, and then put them together to make an animation. So in this section, um, the first thing that we see is we need to create a new folder to store our still images. So to do that, we're gonna go into the terminal window. Oh, it shows up down here. Let me pull that up so you can see it. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can also see it. And we are going to make a new folder. So to do that, we need to enter in MKDIR. That stands for make directory. And we're gonna call it animation. Okay. So we can also just double check that it's there. If I click here, we're gonna see our new folder is um, here. So that's great. So we can exit here. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna modify our code to add a loop to keep taking photos every time the button is pressed. So starting here, um, we're gonna modify the code right under camera.startpreview. So we're gonna put next line is gonna be frame equals one, and then we're gonna add a loop. So while capital T true, and you know, we talked about capitalizations were really important, so are indentations. So while true, we're going to indent, and what's great about Fonny is it automatically does this for me. Try, and then again, does it for me. So this is where um, I can just retype it, or I can take this line of code. So that's where our button wait for press is gonna come in. And I'm gonna get rid of sleep and this next line here. So we've got while true, try. So we're gonna have button wait for press, then camera capture. And now I need to tell my computer to send the images to the new location, which is gonna be home pie. I remember we made a folder and it's called animation. So let's go ahead. We're going to change all of this here. And give me a second. I just want to make sure that you can see this, that I'm not blocking you in any way. Okay, good. All right. So we're going to type in home slash pie slash animation slash frame. Mm -hmm. And then dot jpg. Oh, sorry, I'm not saying it out loud. <laughs> We're going to type in animation slash frame, the percentage sign 03d dot jpg, end um, quote, then end the space, percentage, frame, and then Close parentheses. Now again, this is all on um, the projects. If it's helpful for you to go to the project step, that's titled stop motion animation. And then um, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to add another line. It's going to be frame plus equals one. And then we're going to do a backspace so we can go back and do an accept keyboard interrupt and then camera stop underscore preview break okay I can delete that last line because I just duplicated it up there so the while true loop if you've ever done um, scratch is like a forever loop so what we have is we're using the try and the accept means it can deal with an exceptional circumstance. So if you force it to stop, um, if you've had a situation where the preview is just up, you can use control C to get out of the camera preview and exit the loop. And then this line here means that the file will be saved as the name frame followed by a three digit number with the leading zeros. 
So this allows them to be easily sorted because as you saw before, our computer would just make us an image with the same name. So we've now told it, no, you're gonna make new images each time with new names. So, all right. Okay, so <laughs> we um, can now save this code. Um, and, all right, so we're gonna save the code. And um, what you need to do now is you need to decide like what your animation is going to be. So maybe it's Legos. You saw the sample, someone took some oranges and created like kind of an orange snowman. Um, what I've done is I've got some um, uh, letters from Bananagrams, which is a game I like to play. And I'm gonna take these, you might be able to see them, you might not zoom in. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna spell out something. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And so what you need to do, the next steps that you need to do is just create um, your scene, right? So you're gonna run the program and then each time you're ready for your next scene, you press the button and you keep doing that until you're done. That's important, you need at least 10 images. I learned this the hard way. So make sure you have at least 10 images um, for um, your animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and make my images. So feel free to pause the video, create, um, take all of your images so you can run the program, press the button for each image, and then we'll come back together and talk about what you're gonna do with those images. Okay, I'm back. I just finished taking my photos and now I wanna check and make sure they're in the animation folder and put them together as a video. To be honest, I need some more time, but for the sake of this video, I want you to see what I've done so far and give you some ideas for how to improve. So let's go ahead. We're gonna open up the folder, check the animations folder. Great, so I've got all of my frames are in there. So now we're going to generate the video. So that this is the step we're on in the project. Generate the video. We're going to open up the terminal. I'm going to type the following in here. And let me make this bigger so folks can see it. If you're having trouble seeing it here, feel free to open up this step in the project. I'm going to go ahead and um, type it in. It's going to start with FF. And actually, I need to look because it's a pretty long. Um, let me see. It's right FF. M P E G. There we go. Um, hyphen R, ten hyphen I, and you'll see it. It's actually um, pretty similar to some of the code that we had in our Python program. Because now what we're doing is we're telling the computer to um, go into the folder, the animation folder, take out all of those frames in order, and put them together. All right, so while I double check it, um, feel free to pause the video um, and put this into your terminal. Okay, this looks good. Fingers crossed, if not, we can fix it. Okay, great. Um, so I had, I had made one earlier, so I had said to override that, but it's fine. So um, moving through. Okay, all right. So now let's actually watch the video. So I'm going to play it. Okay. Oh, that was fast. Okay, let's see. Let's try it again. Okay. All right. So um, with my video, what I tried to do is I tried to take the Bananagrams tiles and spell out digital making at home. Almost there. I need a little bit more time and I also need to figure out a better setup for my camera, my Raspberry Pi camera, so I could have it looking down. To be honest, I had it like taped to a pen. It was a little, um, it needs to be fixed. <laughs> but this is, yeah, like next steps are thinking about what else could you add to this? If we go to the final step of the project, um, some, a couple things, the number 10, you can change that number because that has, makes your video 10 frames per second. So you could try out another number. Um, you can also be thinking um, about sharing your video. Like we'd love to see it. So you have it as an MP4 in your computer. You can send it to us. We can feature you in the blog. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, 
You could also think about um, using a motion sensor, uh, thinking about what else you could do with the buttons, with the videos. We'd love to hear your ideas. So make sure to head over to rpf.io slash home to share your project, ask questions, give us feedback. We love to hear from you. So I hope you have an awesome time uh, coding with us this week. I can't wait to see what you make. Bye.